Thanks for listening. Everyone on just one thing, which is uh, what's been happening at our borders and especially at Dover. Last night at 11pm, the French government imposed restrictions on UK freight crossing to France when accompanied by a driver. And so today I chaired a meeting of the government's emergency uh, COBRA committee in order to coordinate a UK-wide response. And it's vital first to stress that these delays, which are only occurring at Dover, only affect human-handled freight. And that is only 20% of the total arriving or departing, arriving from or departing to the European continent, which means the vast majority of food, medicines and other supplies are coming and going as normal. You may also be aware, in fact I'd be amazed if you weren't, that the government has been preparing for a long time for exactly this kind of event. So working with the Kent Resilience Forum, Kent County Council and Highways England, uh, we've activated our long prepared plans with the result that we've already been able to reduce the number of lorries waiting on the M20 from 500 to 170. The site at Manston Airfield is ready to cope with any overflow. And of course, we're working with our friends across the channel to unblock the flow of trade as fast as possible. And the government at all levels is uh, communicating with our friends in Paris. I've just spoken to uh, President uh, Macron. We had a very uh, good call and we both understand each other's positions and want to resolve these problems as fast as, as possible. And I, I know that Grant is also speaking to his counterpart and uh, we're working to a solution, as I say, uh, as fast as we can to allow freight traffic to resume between the UK and France and to ensure that lorries can travel in both directions in a COVID-secure way. I want to stress that we in the UK fully understand the anxieties of our friends about COVID, their anxieties about the new variant, but it's also true that we believe the risks of transmission by a solitary driver sitting alone in the cab are really very low. And so we hope to make progress as fast as we possibly can. I want to repeat that these delays only apply to a very small percentage of food entering the UK. And as British supermarkets have said, their supply chains are strong and robust so everyone can continue to shop normally. And to our international friends and, and partners, uh, I want to say uh, very frankly that we understand uh, your concerns and uh, I, I hope everybody can see that as soon as we were briefed in, in uh, UK government on the, uh, the fast transmissibility of this new strain at I think 3.15 on Friday afternoon, uh, we lodged all the necessary information with the World Health Organization, and we took prompt and decisive action uh, the very next day uh, to curb the spread of the new variant within the, the, the UK. And we want to work with our colleagues, with our friends around the world, as we have from the beginning, to develop new treatments and uh, to develop uh, new vaccines, as we have, and I, by the way, I can today announce that over half a million people, more than 500,000 people uh, in the UK have now received their first dose. Uh, as we've seen throughout this pandemic, this virus, alas, can move all too swiftly uh, from one nation to another, but it is steadily being defeated by an international response and an international response that is bring, bringing the hope of vaccines uh, to the entire world, and in that, the UK will continue to play uh, its full part.